All right, here we go. It's the general, y'all. We in the house. Black power. We in the house. Ooh, gonna start some shit this, this afternoon. Let me pause. let me pause that. We in the house. Let me pause that. We're gonna start some shit this afternoon. Straight up. They say, uh oh, this nigga going, this nigga saying something about who? Yeah, well, family. Uh, it's been brought to my attention that there's a movement out here. Let me get it, let me get in, you know. Let me get over here. It's a movement out here, huh? A biracial individuals, huh? Biracial. Whatever that, and, you know, and them niggas is um, all, you know, mixed with all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? And they want to be, you know, they partitioning the government to be their own particular race. That's basically what it what it's boiling down to. And you know what? I'm so glad that them motherfuckers went on here and done that. You know what I'm saying? Because we always knew what the fuck you was anyway. You know what I'm saying? We always knew. And so, uh, let me let me get my seat. We always knew what you was anyway. Where my notes at? Uh, let me get You know what? I ain't going to put the people's uh, Facebook on there. I'm not going to do that. Because they're going to have a serious problem. As a matter of fact, YouTube got a serious problem with the gym. You see what I'm saying? So, family, what y'all need to do right now is go on over there to Patreon. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, because the general is going to have to move on a different level. You know, the shit that I discuss, other people don't discuss. You know, and I ain't, you know, I'm not going to be cutting shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm dropping it like it's hot. For real, for real. And so YouTube is having a problem with the information and shit, you know, that I bring. And so, uh, you know, though I'm going to still be here as long as possible, you know, you already, you know, the general is moving and growing. So y'all make sure y'all hit that link down in the description and, and go on over to Patreon because I'm going to be doing a lot of the videos on Patreon. You see what I'm saying? You know, and it's going to be private to my uh, Patreon page. So, you know, I'm going to even be doing live streams from my Patreon. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all want, I'm talking about, you know, the hardcore live stream that me and Pharaoh do once a month. I'll be doing maybe one a month over on my Patreon. And it's going to be based on, you know, level, you know, as as we do. You know what I'm saying? That way I can put the information out for my people and, you know, they can, you know, they can get the information without, you know, the beast, you know, being, you know, all up in our motherfucking business because they know I'm hitting hard right now. You know what I'm saying? They know I'm holding no punches. You know what I'm saying? And so even this right here. You know, dealing with the biracial group. Now, number one, let me tell you something. Number one. Number one. You know, a lot, you know, a lot of times, you know, people try to make this biracial at, you know, and they and when you go in their comments, they always got something silly to say as if this beef is about, you know, biracial and black people and this, that, and the third, and that they don't want to be. Uh, they don't want to be under the category of black. Let me tell y'all something. It was the white man that made them motherfucking laws. Okay? That same motherfucker you trying, you know, because for real, that's what you trying to do. You want to be more accepted by your so-called white family. And, you know, that's really where you want to be. But the fact is, it was your white daddy that made them racist goddamn laws that, that, who did not want you. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm so glad that you didn't made it evident that, you know, because when we came out and just said what it was, that y'all some motherfucking uh, are nothing but a fifth column within the black community. You understand what I'm saying? All y'all do is un undermine 
the black cause, then we get quote unquote uh tagged as racist. But when y'all motherfuckers wanna up, up and go on about your body tags, that is racist. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all just don't want nobody to, and that's cause y'all motherfuckers are soft. That's where that light skin soft shit come in. You understand what I'm saying? Cause y'all motherfuckers are soft. You know, y'all don't want to take no fire, but when it's y'all turn to get up and go on about your business, that, that don't get turned as racism. And, uh, it, you know, and I'm not saying it matter to us, because it don't. But now all of a sudden they want to uh, partition the government uh, to be uh, separate. They want to be under their own category. You know, they want to be mixed. Now, now, let me deal with this. You understand what I'm saying? Because the majority of the world is a homogeneous world, meaning that you got, just like if you go to China, it's damn near 99% Chinese. Ain't no, you know what I'm saying? So if you go to uh, uh, Russia, you know what I'm saying? You got, you know, 90%, 95% Russia. They all grouped unto themselves. You got what they call mulatto zones. And usually where the mulatto zones are located, it's been major conquests. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody's really saying shit about the fact that, you know, the majority of these mixed breed uh, populations on the planet is ca cause of mass rape. You understand? Of certain groups moving into another group's uh, area. You understand? Raping they women. You understand? Before that, you had homogeneous nations. You understand? If you look over there and you got two damn billion Chinese and they damn near all look alike, what does that mean? Yeah, some intermixture, but the majority of them. You understand what I'm saying? You go into, you know, the Middle East and shit, what they term the Middle East, which is another, um, uh, and I'm going to call them mulatto. You know what I'm saying? That's another term that the white man used. And people don't understand that the root of mulatto is mutt. Okay? I just want to, and I want to use all your daddy terms. You understand what I'm saying? Okay? I just want to make sure that I do that. You understand what I'm saying? That I use the terms that your daddy created. You see what I'm saying? See, the caste system in America is, is established by white people, okay? Mulatto, uh, uh, octoroon, and this kind of room and shit because they said, God damn it, if you had 1% of black in you, that you was black. That, that We didn't make the law. It don't mean we accepted the law. But that was the law in this country. Because you know why? He, he, because he did not want you. That's the misbreed. You see what I'm saying? You got to deal with that fact. So really the discussion that they have it, they have it with black people because black people will hold that conversation. If they went over there with that shit with them white people, you know what them white people, get the fuck off of my page, you nigga. That's what they would say. See, that's why I don't have that conversation. And, and that's why I'm establishing where the conversation should take place. You understand what I'm saying? Because you will go on the internet and niggas and mixed breeds will be going back and forth. In reality, the white man made the whole caste system. So if you do, if you do not want to be termed black, right, then that's an argument that you got to have with the powers to be. That means your daddy. You who raped your mama. See, they don't want to deal with that fact. See, they don't want to deal with that fact that the majority... Where did these mixed breeds come from? <laughs> now, you got some today, but technically, where did the mixed breeds come from? Now, we need to deal with that. The fact is, white people rape black people in that particular mixture. You understand? Because there's all type of mixed breed. So I don't even understand how you going to have a category of mixed breed when these motherfuckers mix. You know, you got different mixtures. You got one motherfucker got 
a so-called black parent, Asian parent. Then you got one that got a, a black parent, Arab parent. Then you got one that got a white mama, Arab daddy. Then you got one that got a white daddy, Asian mom. You understand what I'm saying? So there's what is that? You know what I'm saying? That that right there is confusion. You know what I'm saying? So when you when 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 you you go get your fake DNA test and they tell you your race and then they got all these different percentages and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Rarely, and I don't say I agree with. I don't get off in that state of confusion. You understand? Because confusion breeds confusion. You understand what I'm saying? So if you go get you a, a so-called DNA test, right, and they give you this piece of paper and your shit got percentages, that mean what? According to them, you mix. You understand what I'm saying? So if motherfuckers got a different number for whatever they, how in the fuck? Is you still, I mean, that's still no homogeneous category at all. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why the root of malacto is mutt. You ever seen a group of mutts or dogs in the alley? And what one, one motherfucker, short dog, big dog, all ain't no goddamn mutt because mutts all look different. So reality, you motherfuckers is a nation of mutts. And, le and then listen, that's no slur. The root of mulatto, M-U-T, is mutt. Okay, that's what you get, mutt. All me nah, what's key, and I continue to bring this up, because the reality is, they need, they gonna have to have that discussion with they, they white parents. Okay, they're going to have to take that shit to the government. Now, let's be clear about some things. That in slavery, that same man that made the caste system, that threw them away in the first place, did not want them. That don't mean they us, but he did not want them. Okay? He did not want so his mulatto mixed breed children into slavery nonetheless you see what i'm saying so you know before you know so why they up there putting all that shit up about obama being me why don't they bring up the real issue as to why they white fathers set up that caste system and and outcast they ass in the first place you see you see, see, niggas have had that frivolous conversation. White people not going to have it. Because regardless to whether you, you take that shit to one of them racist ass crack, crackers and see what they say. They going to call him. They ain't going to call him no mixed breed. They going to say, nigga, get that shit out of my face. And nigga don't necessarily, to them don't mean race. That's any low life. Ain't a part of the table. They'll call a Japanese nigga. You understand what I'm saying? So the reality is that same white man sold all his mixed breed children, a lot of them, in the slave. Okay? Nonetheless, whoop they back. Nonetheless, a lot of his mixed breed children was out there in them fields. Nonetheless. So that's how he treated them. You understand what I'm saying? And did not want them to the point that to uh, establish a caste system, hear me out, that said if you had 1% black, you was black. We didn't make that law. That don't mean we agree with it. We don't agree with it. You understand what I'm saying? Because we knew all along the silly tendency that you crazy motherfuckers got anyway. I'm just going to put that up. Front. We knew. We knew how weak it was. And so we didn't we didn't create that caste system. Your daddy created that caste system. Okay? So you understand what I'm saying? And so I you know I know for a fact that if that a matter of fact, it was law. Okay? And on the and you know, it was law. That's got to be key. That's how he felt about you. You understand? Discarded your ass nonetheless. 
You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and uh, another thing, which I even got from J.A. Rogers, that they were so racist for mixed breed children. They said that uh, mulatto, which they say is similar to a, a donkey, which is an ass and a horse mixed. This is what white people say, and that they were sterile, that they were sterile, okay, that they could not produce one of their own. This is what white people wrote about mulattoes. Oh, you understand about the mixed breed? You see what I'm saying? So the reality is, you know how your daddy think. You know how your daddy think. So instead of having them frivolous comments about how black people, you know, how certain biracial people are, cate you know, are categorized as black, ask the question, who established that? And why did they establish that? You understand what I'm saying? You need to go and have these conversations with your daddy. You understand what I'm saying? But you know in reality that white people not going to have no frivolous conversation with you like that. And they are, where, where niggas had a frivolous conversation, we had a, because we've been brainwashed many times, even though we know. Even though we know, even with Marcus Garvey and W.E.B. Du Bois, and uh, you know what I'm saying? We know how these motherfuckers get down. They was really the ones that tried to take Marcus Garvey out. You understand what I'm saying? And so the fact is, again, and this, number one, when you look at most nations on the, on the planet, homogeneous nations, they were not established by no mixed breeds. You see what I'm saying? So any nation that's homogeneous, historically homogeneous, don't owe no, no mixed breed shit, straight up. They don't owe them shit. Y'all need to, it's going, and in the, in the reality is, number one, that side of you, you understand what I'm saying? And, and, and when you, when you, when you, you know, when you really want to be on that side, you know what I'm saying? I tend to just call you what you, even though your daddy ain't going to accept you as that. You know what I'm saying? You know, even y'all need to find your own area. You understand what I'm saying? If y'all want to be in, in, you know, because you want to benefit from a homogeneous nation, you know, African nations or the, even this one. You understand what I'm saying? Even this one, God damn it, the black, the dark skin, black and light skin. I'm not going to get away from that. You understand what I'm saying? But a light skin, black and a goddamn mixed breed is two different goddamn things. We must establish that. So, you, again, you want to benefit off the nation that we built with our hard back. OK, because you motherfuckers will, will try to go and be. You understand what I'm saying? A suit and tie nigga. I know you, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? And still you want to benefit from the hard labor of the Africans that you don't want to be. And you're not. You understand? And you're not. You want to benefit from our hard labor. OK, you're no different than the rest of them. You understand? You want to benefit from our hard labor. You understand what I'm saying? And but you don't want to be, you know, have no semblance that you are a part of us. So what you're really doing is you saying that that side of you that's happened to be whatever it is, whether it's black or whether it's Asian or whatever, is non-European and they're they not going to accept that as an equal. So whatever part of you is the superior is really what you want to identify with because that's where you're going to get the most of, you know, whether, you know, in society, you know, as far as social status, that's what you, that's what you really want to be attached to. You understand what I'm saying? And so I think that's what you should do. But at the same time, I really want you to have a relationship. I mean, a, a, a conversation that you're having on Facebook with, and it's primarily black people. You see what I'm saying? I want you to have that conversation with your dad. You understand what I'm saying? And I, and, and again, we want to, we, we, we want to talk, uh, you know, we want to talk 
seriously about how people become mixed. You understand what I'm saying? Then nobody wants no goddamn white woman or no white man. Tell the truth that the majority in this process that we call mixed breed in America, down in fucking islands, down come from the fact that white men, Europeans, raped African women and Indian women too. You understand what I'm saying? We talking mixed breeds, okay? So you motherfuckers technically is a product of rape, okay? Now you got niggas today or you're, you know, peoples of today who has bought into, you know, you've been, you know, you've been doing it based on, you know, the rape and the shit. And now you want to find a reason to justify, but not even, you can't even say, you know, coming up out of the, you know, the 40s and 50s, y'all was still raping black women. You understand what I'm saying? So y'all don't want to deal with the fact that the majority of this mixed breed shit came about when these Europeans started to rape the women of the conquered people whom they conquered. You don't want to deal with that fact. You understand what I'm saying? So again, y'all the pro and you're really in a serious, you put yourself because the same at the same time we see that the European himself, himself, is uh becoming extinct on the planet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So and, and and this is the side of you. You understand what I'm saying? That you're reaching out and you want, you know, you want validation from. Well, that right there show you, you know, because the world is moving back into a homogeneous state. You understand when there's less and less and less Europeans on the planet, you understand what I'm saying? You go into Africa and Africa is almost is is moving towards two billion people. You know, there's gonna come a time. You understand what I'm saying? That the lighter shades is not gonna be as as populous as they is in the in Africa today. Because then look at the Middle East. You got the Arab and the, that's a you know a mulatto zone. You understand what I'm saying? Where you didn't been, you know, where the Arab then moved in, raped a lot of African women in North Africa, on the east coast of Africa. You understand what I'm saying? But they lose. You understand what I'm saying? And so you could see that again, the world is moving back to a homogeneous population. It's go, they say clouds come together, go, uh, clouds go apart. You understand what I'm saying? And so again, and if it was not for the conquest, okay, you wouldn't have all this, you know, this silliness that's going on today. You understand? You would not have all this silliness that's going on today. All of that come from, because even before the conquest, I'm talking about even with uh, the Arab, that's a large conquest. Uh, the European moving into Africa, into the Americas, was the large, con you talking about a two particular groups that then moved into somebody else's land, violating and criminally, most people would not have chose no no foreign partner like that. You know what I'm saying? We just got to be clear about that. Most people would not have because they never did. Majority of Africans was with that. As a matter of fact, they had it where it's um, a matriarchal pay, uh, uh, bloodline. You had to go through the women. So they had it so tight knit that there's no way for you to have even came on the throne as a unless you had you know, validation that you came from the black woman. So how in the fuck is you, what is you talking about? Nobody gonna give up their they royalty and their divinity to go outside of Africa. So the majority of what you talking about, mixed breed came when that white man violated our women. And, and you know, understand what I'm saying? And mentally today, the people that you see mixed, is the product. And they, and again, and maybe the white man was right. He wrote it. He say when the motherfucker when you mix it's just like a horse coming into a donkey or, or, or into an ass or a jack or what is it a donkey and or or, or jackass or whatever a horse and a jackass to make a donkey 
You understand? He wrote that they were sterile. You understand what I'm saying? And so in essence, you understand, they didn't damn, you know, and I believe there's a weakness in that. When you do that, there's a weak, and you can see it. And it's a state of confusion. And then many of our teachers have taught that it was militaristic anyway. And then that goes all the way back to Chancellor Williams and destruction of black civilization. Because he wrote in there something very, very key. And, and the, the question came up, how did Egypt fall? How did Africa fall? And he clearly stated in destruction of black civilization, it was the bastard mixed breed children of African people and European people. You understand what I'm saying? Which they use as a fifth column to undermine African people. So that's the historical document. And when Chancellor said that, a lot of people caught feelings. But now today, they want to come out and be separate anyway. But when we cut the motherfucker, when we cut the cord, it's racist. You know, when we put it out there for what it is, because really what they doing is technically what Chancellor, you want to be aligned with the Caucasoid or the Asian or whatever. You don't want to be aligned with the black reality you understand what i'm saying you saying to your white daddy why you don't love me that's really what you're saying and so i would love for them and i really would i would love for them to have these conversations on the open platform with white people you understand what i'm saying i would love to see what and you know and i already know what the white man he gonna say nigga get off my page that's exactly what he going to say. And you know that. He going to be straight up and down with your ass. He ain't going to cut you no. You understand what I'm saying? And if he accept, he going to use your ass to the means which he need. And then he going to cut your ass off as he always done. You see what I'm saying? And so the reality is they can keep moving forward. We want you to move forward. We want you to move forward. And we don't... And, and see, we can't let them co-op. But when you go over, stay over. Okay? When you go over, ain't no such thing as men. Bitch, you is what you is. You want to be an honorary European is what you want to be. But you can't give full status. You're looking for full status, but you can't give full status. And right, and no other, no other nation that's homogeneous historically going to accept you in. Because you... You you technically on the level of all them motherfuckers in the what that LBG. You might as well just go and put M on there, mixed breed, because even though it ain't sexually, y'all is in the same fucking boat. Y'all are a unnatural thing, and you don't have no homogeneous, you know, where you can say, okay, all mixed breeds come, goddamn it, because it could be mixed with what? I mean, you can have that, so you don't have no borders. You don't have no nation where you can say, oh, mixed breed people built this nation and this, that, and the third. You don't have that. So you don't even have no home, motherfucker. You don't have no home. And so what you, call, and just like the rest of them, you want to leech off of uh, upright, homogeneous people. You want them to accept you in today's society, which they're not going to do. That's just reality. They're going to use you to, you know, to whatever means, ends to whatever means, they, and then they're going to discard you because you in, technically is a fence rider. And really, you just like the meter and shit that go left, go right. You're going to go on the side that, you know what I'm saying, you feel you're going to get more social status from but the side that you're looking for, you know, you think you, you you feel you could get, you know, a higher social status, don't want you. See what I'm saying? So, you know, you rather see they can you know how they say the, the glass is half, it could be half full, it could be half empty. So really the conversation again that you having with black people, black people didn't make the caste system in America. Okay. We didn't put that shit on the book. Go ask your white daddy why they created a caste system that 
uh, you know, identified all, damn near all mixed breeds is black. And that don't mean you black. What he was doing, he was discarding you. And, the, and so to give a reason why he was discarding you, he said you was black. Now, if he said you was black, that's already showing you psychologically how he think about you. And that was his reason, that was his excuse for discarding your ass. And you know, and, and it's quite evident that you love somebody and you looking for love from somebody who do not love you. Okay, that's the reality. You understand what I'm saying? And just like all them LBG and all that craziness that they into you in that same category and no homogeneous name, which I mean unique and historically one people, you understand, ain't never had no outsiders, ain't never had all that sexual, uh, uh, you know, craziness. We don't owe you nothing. You know what I'm saying? Don't come to none of our nations with that shit because you are historically a product of America and European colonialism and imperialism. That's technically where you from. And so instead of you just asking your, 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 your white daddy, why was you colonizing these people? Why was you raping they women like that? To create us, daddy? Why you ain't asking them that? Huh? Why you not asking them that? So you want to gloss over the fact that majority of what quote unquote me is a product of rape. Okay? Now I even hear people's out here talking about this abortion shit. You know what I'm saying? Some people out here feel it's legitimate that if a woman is raped, she can abort the baby. Who the fuck want a baby by somebody that didn't rape them? You know what I'm saying? So I'm quite sure <laughs> that a lot of them damn babies, our sisters got rid of them motherfuckers. They should have. You understand what I'm saying? And that's an argument. Now, if I say it in that context, motherfuckers got a problem. But out there, you see women arguing every day. I seen it the other day when them states down there that's trying to, uh, you know, they banning abortion. They say, they ban even, even abortion. I mean, even rape. Now, rape is something supposed to be, you know, above and beyond. You, you know, and so that's something special. You know what I'm saying? If you rape a woman, who, who the fuck want to have a baby by somebody that raped them? So if you really ask, and these African sisters really had a, 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 a option, they probably would have threw you motherfuckers in the goddamn garbage, just like they doing in the abortion clinic. If most women that, you know, it take a real psychologically sick person to have a baby by somebody that raped them. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of women opt out. Some women choose it. And I, you know, I, ain't, I don't want to deal with the psychology of that. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want to deal with the cycle. Why even bring something in the in the world that you know you 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 got to tell the baby and shit? Yeah, your daddy raped me, and yeah, I mean all this shit. And you know, usually you know. And, and so again, if if a woman got the right uh, to abort a baby today, and most women arguing that right, they say y'all the government should stay the fuck out of their business and shit. This, that, and the third. So if it's an option for a, a woman to abort a baby today by somebody with rape, I wonder what our sisters would have done if they, and many of them did it. You know what I'm saying? Many of them did it. You understand what I'm saying? You got a motherfucker laying up on you, a nasty ass caucasoid raping you, and then you got to have a motherfucker baby? So you acting as if black people wanted to have them damn babies. They didn't want to have them damn babies. You understand? Y'all not see, but don't nobody want to, because they're going to say, oh, this is racist. No, it's real. If it's being brought up, the real motherfucking issue should be discussed. How the fuck did the mixed breeds technically come about? Okay, now today, yeah, niggas is living in a fantasy world. 
Yeah, niggas will go get them a white woman, a ni and black woman will go get them a white man, and they'll live the fallacy, not, you know, try, trying to hide the fact or the reality of how that situation can. And even, even the shit still exists because even in that relationship, they're not going to get over the fact because I guarantee you at any point in fucking time, they get mad at anybody. A nigga going to always stay a nigga. And then get into any fucking argument, they're going to call him because they're going to belittle him in social status to show that you a bald nigga. Oh, you nigga, get the fuck out of here, you nigga. And so that's what it is. So it's never going to change. It's never going to. All these goddamn uh, mixed really that's, that's fucking uh, frivolous, silliness, sickness that people cannot get over because the reality is the world is moving back into a homogeneous world. That's the reality. Africa is coming back on a, on a large level. You see what I'm saying? And so they, you talking about Africa's average age is in the teens. Woo! Lord have mercy. You understand what I'm saying? So when you talking about, you know, you talking about a large percentage when, when, when Public Enemy made that uh, uh, album, Fear of a Black Planet, it does not exclude the fact that the world is moving back towards a black pan. So all that shit is fr frivolous. And we don't even, black people don't even, good. You know what? And while they drawing up partitions to be, um, you know, whatever they want to be, we should be drawing up a petition. Nonetheless, we not accepting these motherfuckers back. Bitch, we didn't want you no way, and I'm glad you came out and said how you feel. Now, nah, we we totally justify in what the fuck we say. That's real motherfucking talk. Let them go on about their mother, please. And, and, and tell them, bitch, don't go have, don't have no frivolous conversation with me because I never created the caste system in the first place. Your white daddy is the one that, and even if you got Asian and he treated you, God damn it, he treated the Asian nonetheless the same goddamn way. They went over there and fucked them Asian like they fucked anybody they came in contact with. So regardless to the fact, wherever you go, if there's a mixed breed population, especially with a Caucasoid, it came with the illegal conquest of them people's land. And them women never wanted nothing with them at all okay they never wanted nothing with them any so you 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 non-existent re in real you know what i'm saying and so again don't don't come to no homogeneous find you mixed breed land whatever that is mulatto land we need to you need to find mulatto land and that's crazy how even in mulatto the root of mulatto just to show you how they feel about you is mutt. God damn, man. All of that is defined by European. And don't nobody want to. And so again, watch this. Quit arguing with them. Every time one of them motherfuckers try to put, I tell you what, go have this conversation with white people and see what they say. Tell. Because ultimately, if you're talking about taking it to the government, they ultimately got to be the one to okay that. Okay? So you got to go to them. You see, you got to go to them. I don't give a fuck. I don't need no white man. To, I don't need no white man validation to say I'm African. I'm African, bitch. That's what I am. You know what I'm saying? I don't need no motherfucking validation, but you need validation. And that shows right there, you know, your contempt for black people. Them motherfuckers got contempt. You understand what I'm saying? They don't want to be, you know, they got shit in there where you can sign in, motherfucker. Sign that shit in, bitch, mixed breed. And then they're going to ask you what you mix with. They're going to want to know the percentages, bitch. So when you talk about mixed breeding and, and you go get a DNA test and they got different percentages, ain't nobody, I mean, who got the same then? You understand what I'm saying? It, it, so if you go get a DNA test and they even got white people, got some African in them, got, and I'm not saying I justify none of it. I'm just looking at the system that they got in place to justify who the fuck you is. If you go get a blood, anybody on the planet is going to be in percentages. I guess there's some people out here got 100% or something. 
You see what I'm saying? So if it's all if, if most people out here, and I don't agree with none of that, okay? But if you go through that system and everybody got percentages, then that would mean according to their shit, everybody mixed. You see what I'm saying? Everybody is mixed. So if that's the case, then goddamn take all this shit off. The goddamn applications and all of that. Take it all off. Because everybody mixed then. You understand what I'm saying? That is a state of motherfucking confusion. That is a state of confusion. Unless you got 100% of some shit, if you go take a test, unless you got 100% of some shit, then that means you mix. Okay? So, I mean, how the fuck do you, how, how are you going to turn mix? How are you going to come up with that? When everybody's, according to the DNA tests, which I don't agree with, is mix. Huh? Okay? And then after you go take your DNA test, you still got to come out and put one or the other. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> you still got to come out. And when you go fill out some shit, you still got to put one or the other. Black, all, uh, Al Indian, Alaska, uh, Caucasian. And, and they got a, and even the Caucasian got a DNA test with percentages on it, which means that he mixed too. Man, y'all motherfuckers. The fact is, y'all just don't want to be, you know, you, the, the black, you're, you're embarrassed at the blackness, the little bit of blackness that you got, which don't amount to you being black. And so you, you wish you could have got, get rid of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Is and this is your way of getting rid of the black. We not black, daddy. We not black. We not black. We not black. Do it. Do us a little better. <laughs> we not black, daddy. My white daddy. Oh, uh, could you please uh, do or treat us a little better? I know you sold this. You know, and how you and ask your daddy say, daddy. Why did you sell us in slave? Huh? Why did you slay? Why you didn't want us? Why would you say if you got 1% black in you, you black? Why do you don't want us like that? Had that conversation with European, and I would like to see what, what those responses would be. You understand what I'm saying? Because, you know, we, we already been known, you know, there was a, you know, there was, you know, you had the mixed breed, and they was you know, a, a contingency that European you, even though he did not treat them as white, he used you motherfuckers against us, you know, all the time. You know what I'm saying? And so we been knew that, but the laws, we didn't make the laws. You understand what I'm saying? So when that motherfucking mixed breed, that motherfucker said, when it say whites only, that didn't mean it, that mean, meant you too. That and Indians, that motherfucker say niggas, Indians, and dogs, nigga. <laughs> okay, so that meant so that's a conversation. I say, Daddy, goddamn, why I couldn't drink at the farm that you drink from? If your ass as a mixed breed would have went into any diner during the forties and fifties, they would have shot your ass as a mixed breed. You got to ask your wife that. Why would you do me like that? Okay? Don't have that conversation. And the fact is, the reason why they can have this frivolous conversation with blacks, because socially, we don't really have no status. You know, we have our own status. We know who we are. But we don't have, they ain't going to have that con Any kind of conversation they have with European people is going to be a pie, they're gonna be as pie. They not gonna bring up none of these facts. They not, cause they know at that very time that they bring me, he gonna immediately chop their ass. So if you can't deal with the facts, that already let you know what you is, motherfucker. You in a void. You in a void is what you in. You is in in a void, and that's the that's the that's the the living hell. Of the mixed breed. You understand what I'm saying? You mixed in your mind. You don't have no consensus. You understand what I'm saying about nothing. 
because the reality is homogeneous nations are going to stay to their historical culture. They're not going to be, you ain't bringing none of that shit over here. No, get, get the fuck on. You're not bringing none of that mixed thought, mixed consensus, nothing. We are unified over here in our consensus. You understand what I'm saying? So you is in a, where really, don't nobody want you. Don't nobody want you. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why those people might have a laptop zone, which is Canada, United States. That's technically because them Europeans trying to put niggas up out of there now. You understand? They sick of that. Sick of that. You know, you go to Israel right now. They push, even though it ain't their land. Motherfucker, get out. They they packing them goddamn pallets. The niggas that came from Ethiopia. Y'all could take y'all ass back to Ethiopia. Okay? So the reality is everybody is really trying because they know that the, you know nobody's gonna trust you. You nobody gonna trust you, nigga. You over here, you over here, you over. So y'all really trying to cut all you you trying to, you know, you trying to detox any type of Africanness. And I'm all right with that. Do that. But the, now that you are out in the open, and I hope y'all get whatever, don't bring y'all ass trying to benefit for nothing that black people do. And all you niggas out there that loving these motherfuckers, and they trying to sever all relationship, in which I'm not mad at. You can take your ass over there with them. When they get mulatto land, you can go over there and see if they, and they ain't going to give you shit, nigga. They ready to put down another type of uh, uh, mixed breed uh, uh, supremacy, you understand, mixed breed power, you got white power, now you're going to have mixed breed power, they, and I guarantee you, if them motherfuckers in power, they're going to treat you just like the white man treats you, he going to take his place, because he don't want, we see this shit all down, and you know, I was watching Haiti, and the uh, Dominican Republic, how the, the goddamn nation is split in half, and even though them motherfuckers got nothing but Haitian blood in them, them motherfuckers look down on the Haitian like he's less than human. You got to deal with the, them niggas down there don't want to be black, and a lot of them is mulatto, and we see a universal response, and black people are more accepting than any fucking body. You understand? We're more accepting than any fucking, so we don't have we don't have to apologize for shit. You understand what I'm saying? Because when the white man threw your ass out, we gave you a bowl, a soup, nigga. The, you know, we hate to see you out there. We gave you the bowl of soup. But then when you thought you could get, you know, in good favor with your white father, you totally disregarded anything that black people. And then when he whispered in your ear, go on down there and see what they're doing. Tell on them, you know, if you see it. And, yet, and you came right on down. You He gave your ass degrees and titles. You became the talented temp and shit. You went to Harvard and Oxford and all of that. You began done all and started all these fake ass fraternities and sororities to be above us and shit. Tried, even when they tried to join that shit, they still never accept. Just like, they tried to join uh, uh, masonry. You think they? Do you, you think they was letting white mixed breed niggas into mace white lodges? They kept you motherfuckers out the same as they did niggas. They kept they kept you out the same as they did nigger. So the question is, you got to go to this man to get you. You got a petition, and he gonna have to pass it. He gonna have to pass it. You understand what I'm saying? But I tell you what, I want to hear y'all bring the real issues up to your white dad. We don't want you. We don't want you. Go on your ass back on over there where you at. You understand? Start mulatto land today. I don't know where you're going to start it at. You understand what I'm saying? Because ain't no white nation going to allow you to get no other. They're going to, I guarantee you. They're going to even, even in Australia, go look at that shit, how they did mixed all them babies up over there in Australia with that rabbit proof, uh, rabbit proof fence. Go look that shit up and see what they, and see, 
what happening down there. And, and then you got to look at a lot of them Australians is mulatto. See what happens to their ass. They treat them just like, uh, you know, they 100%. They don't give them no leeway to do nothing. You understand what I'm saying? And, and so I ain't going to hold y'all up no more. I'm going to stay on this. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay on this and I'm going to stay, uh, uh, you know, because we, I've I been, in, even when I, I went on the motherfuckers, uh, 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 Facebook page and motherfuckers talking about Barack Obama. He was saying, "On this is on the mixed breed. They got a pro mix, uh, mix, uh, people, uh, page on Facebook." And then he he's talking about Obama was the, you know, we were saying that Obama was the first black. No, the fucking news media put that shit out there first, nigga. They put that shit out there. You understand? You keep acting like black people. No. The media pushed that, that Obama, and I came with the face of imperialism, and I say any, your mama, you understand, technically defines a lot of who you are. That's just the bottom line, because she your life provider. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't going to keep telling me this man black, and he's sucking on the breasts of a goddamn European, and she all in his goddamn ear. You understand what I'm saying? He's a European. That's exactly what the fuck I said. So y'all motherfuckers acting like niggas was, go look at the face. I did that shit the very year he got in. Niggas know the general don't hold no punches. I kept it clear. And that's why the motherfucker went up there and said something to Kanye when Kanye went up there in defense of Beyonce and snatched the mic out of Taylor Swift's hand. That motherfucker ain't said nothing about no murders of black people. He didn't even, he ain't said shit about nothing. But as soon as that Kanye West went up there, he called him what? An ass. And you know why? Because then he saw his mama in Taylor Swift. That's the bottom line. He saw his mama in Taylor Swift. You understand what I'm saying? So all that frivolous talk that black people look at all you motherfuckers has been, that's not true. Motherfuckers call it like they see it. And he sat up and then did what he what a, a good white man would do. He did that. People try to say, oh no, he didn't. He watched as they murdered black people on his watch even more, more uh uh vilely than he, some of these uh cauc caucasoid presidents. And that's real motherfucking talk. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of shit went negative, went on in Africa under Obama. So, you know, y'all arguments as if all black people think the same and, and really won't. I never accepted it. Motherfuckers got mad at me when I, I did uh, Obama in the second civil war. I did all type of motherfucking video. You could go look that one up. Obama and the Second American Civil War. Go look it up on YouTube. And I, I, I cut right off into his ass from that motherfucking point. You understand what I'm saying? And I've always been clear to mention Chancellor Williams' destruction of black civilization on one of the main reasons of why black people fail from the heights of civilization. They use mulatto, and that's what happened in Lower Egypt. You understand, over a period of time in Lower Egypt, you understand, all of them, them race started breeding down and lower. See, once you get a piece of the continent, that's like having a base on, on the continent. You got a base. You understand, you ain't got to launch your attack from out, outside the continent. You can launch it from inside the goddamn continent. So Lower Egypt became a launching pad for many of the, you know, what would later be conquest into the interior of Africa. You got to get, even the United States, goddamn it, they're going to get somewhere over there first. They're going to send their ships, whether they, if they attack Iran, they got bases in Saudi Arabia, they got bases in uh, fucking Qatar, right all around his ass. So he got, he, 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 he can launch from right there. He got shit in Turkey. He got all that shit surrounded where he got bases, and that's exactly what they did. You understand, the low, lower Egypt became a lot lighter, and goddamn, the, the, the Africans kept going up the river. The dark Af kept going up the river, and eventually, you know, you know, they were, the, 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 you know, the, 
the, the Caucasians and the Asians started push, pushing further and further and further south. You understand what I'm saying? But that's the facts. Lower Egypt became a lot lighter and that became the launching pad for a lot of Europeans and a lot of goddamn Asians to conquer even more land in Africa. And them, that and that's another thing, what I'm talking about today. Even, and I'm gonna end on this because I could come back and do another video. Remember, go and, and, and join my Patreon. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm telling y'all right now, I'm about to shift a lot of my information over there. You understand what I'm saying? I'm continue to put up. They already, you know, they running off at their mouth about my my video. You know, they in my. I'm talking about YouTube. They didn't start running their motherfucking mouth about my information. And so I, I'm got I got brothers working on my site right now. Soon as I get off of here, I'm gonna go call them and get to work. You understand what I'm saying? But go join my Patreon and shit. Make sure y'all subscribe to Naga Suit Rock. Sarah still moving. But at this at this time, the general said he pay is under attack. They trying to attack it. They don't, they saying that the information that I'm putting on my shit ain't to their liking. And I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not slowing down for shit. I got I got the ability to shift all of this to keep it flowing. And matter of fact, it's time for me to get on a platform where I'm all the way live any motherfucking way. Cause I'm sick. I'm I need to go all the way in on these hoes. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? So don't forget, Gen General Sara Suicetti, it's in the link. Me and uh Pharaoh gonna be doing uh a live stream the end of this month. I think we're going live today on Pharaoh's page. If he posted, if not, it's going to be in a couple of days. I got two videos that I'm about to do on Sara, but support is needed. Y'all want the general out here? Y'all motherfuckers got to support me, okay? Y'all want the motherfucker? I don't want to hear this bullshit because when it comes time for motherfucking, and the people need the voice out there. You know what I'm saying? They need an alternative voice that's coming straight up to motherfucking middle. Now, if y'all want, if y'all want to go off into obscurity, I'm gonna still be who the fuck I am because I'm the general. I was born to do that. But if y'all want me to be on the field, then y'all will support. You know, and I don't ask much for people, but the general need to exist out here. You feel what I'm saying? And I don't want to do nothing but teach and wake my people up. I know y'all love it. I see the response that I'm getting from me teaching. And like I said, I got other platforms that's coming. But for right now, you know, Sara, Sue said he's still moving. Naga Sue and Ra is right in it. Go, because I might have to switch. And I'm going to still be on the general. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to still be on the motherfucking general. But at the same time, I have to move around a little bit because the beast, I'm going, I love it. I say, you know what? They see me move. They can't stand for no supreme Africanness. Like I, mean, like I said, I just started back really just hitting these motherfuckers since the beginning of the year. So, you know, I, these motherfuckers can't take no years of me up on this bitch like this. They can't take Saturday. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about what I see out there. You know what I'm saying? Niggas stay up there for years and years and years. They don't want no years of no motherfucking Sarah Sue Seti sitting on the internet, dog. They don't want that because they know after a while the people going to know exactly what the fuck it is. No cut, no motherfucking chase. Flat the fuck out. That's how I give it up. I don't give a fuck about, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the people need the unadulterated truth, okay? So family going over there to Sarah, and, 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 and we talking this 5G, melanin manipulation. We talking about, you know, and showing the family what they trying to do to and what they're doing to our minds through the melanin that, you know, is so rich in our body. They manipulating our mind. This 5G shit is coming. They already been using that shit 
for warfare long in World War II. And this shit is, you know, we got to talk, family. I ain't going to do the video here, but we got to talk. So go on over to Sarai. Check these upcoming two videos out. 5G and melanin man manipulation. And then I'm dealing with the last color of the series of my uh, ancient Egyptian sh uh, chakra system, which is yellow and gold. We need to talk, to talk about it, okay? Because they're using a lot of that gold and, you know, all the metals and shit, all off in the electronics because it's a conductor of frequency and energy. So we've we gone over there now, and the general about to light it up. Uh, once again, this is the general Cyrus who said he said, "Hey, let me go to my chat." Look out for me, family. All right, this is the general. I'm looking in the chat. Love y'all. Respect. Thank you for being in the house. Thank you for being in the house. Thank you for being in the house. This is the General Sarah Soon said he said, hey, arm yourself with knowledge. Bang on that wicked ass beast daily. Liberation through African education and confrontation. Black pop.